Shri Gurubhyo Namaha. Welcome to online class. Now we are going to discuss this 14C for 6th standard children. Listen. Find the area of the given figure. See, this is a figure with how many sides are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 sides are there. And I am going to find the figure for this where all corners are right angle. Right angle means what? 90 degree. And dimensions are given in centimeter. Dimension are given in the centimeter means the unit, unit is what here? Centimeter is your unit. Can you clear this? I am going to find out the area for this figure. So, what I have to do? Listen. Just see this. I can join like this. So, this is a figure 1 and this is what? Figure 2. If I join the line like this, then I can get figure 1 as well as figure 2. Now, listen. For the figure 1, figure 1, I am going to write the length and the breadth and as well as for figure 2, I am going to write the length and the breadth. Next, I am adding this 2. Can you clear this? Listen, figure 1. See this? See, this is your length. Length is what? 5 centimeter. And see your breadth. See, the total length is 6. Okay? See, from this part to this part is a 2. Then what can I do this? 6 minus 2 which is what? 4 centimeter. See this is for figure 1. Length is 5 and breadth I am going to find out. Breadth I am going to find out. Next for the figure 2 I am going to write the length. Length is a 7 centimeter and the breadth is what? 2 centimeter. Breadth is 2 centimeter. So, I can find out the length and the breadth for the given figure. See, listen. Area. Area of a, area of a given figure is equal to area 1 plus area 2. Got it? Area 1 plus area 2. So, what is the area 1 here? Area of a rectangle, I am going to substitute the formula. Area of a rectangle is length into breadth. Again, for a area 2, I am going to find out the area of a rectangle. What is a rectangle formula? Again, one more length into breadth. Now, listen. Length is 5 and your breadth is 4 plus length is 7 centimeter and your breadth is what? 2 centimeter. Now, listen. 5 fours are 20 plus symbol is there. 7 twos are 14. So, the answer is what? 20 plus 14 which is what? 34. 34 centimeter square. If the area means the unit should be what? 30 centimeter square. Area means the unit should be centimeter square. Now, I am going to write the answer. What is the answer for this? Area of a given figure is equal to 34 centimeter square. Can you clear this? Can you clear this children? So, first you have to arrange the figure into a rectangle. So, just if I join, I can get the two rectangles here. After I am joining that, I am getting figure 1 as well as figure 2. And then I am going to segregate the length and breadth. After segregating the length and breadth, 
just I am substituting the formula here. What is the rectangular formula? Length into breadth. So, length and breadth for this two, I am going to find out the area and again I am adding that. If I add 20 plus 14 which is what? 34. See area means the unit should be in the square. So, centimeter square I have to write. Got it? Shall I move on to the next sum? Now listen, see this uh, figure, how can I uh, frame this listen? If I join this, I can get first one. Again, if I join like this, I can get the figure 2 and I can get the figure 3. Listen, for figure 1, write the length and the breadth. What is the length given here? 10. And what is the breadth for this? 3 centimeter. And I am moving for the figure 2. See the length here. See the length already from this to this is what? 10. And from this to this part is what? 4. So, 10 plus 4 which is what? 14 centimeter. And what about your breadth? Breadth is what? 3 centimeter. Can you clear this? The length is already, see the first figure, the length 10 and the breadth is what? 3 they are given. When I am moving for the figure 2, See from hip, from this to this is what? What is the measurement? 10. And from this part to this part is what? 4. So, what is that? 10 plus 4 is what? 14 centimeter the length and the breadth is what? 3 centimeter. When I am coming for the third figure, see this. From this part to this part is what? 14. Because already I have written that 14 and from this part to this part is what? 4. So, 14 plus 4 which is what? 18 centimeter and your breadth is what? 3 centimeter. Now, I collected in this figure the length as well as breadth for the figure 1, figure 2 and the figure 3. Now, I am going to find out the area for this that is I am going to substitute the length into breadth formula. Can you clear this children? Area of a, area of a figure is equal to area 1 plus area 2 plus area 3. Got it? So, listen, area of a figure is what? Area 1 plus area 2 plus area 3. I am going to substitute the area formula. What is the area formula? Length into breadth. Area of the given figure is equal to See, area of 1 is what? Length into breadth. What is the length into breadth? 10 into 3 plus. Next, what is the length into breadth? 14 into 3 plus 18 into 3. Listen. 10 3s are 30. 14 3s are 4 3s are 12 balance 1 42 next see when I am multiplying these two I can get 30 when I am multiplying these two I can get 42 when I am multiplying this 18 3s are 8 3s are 24 2 3 1s are 3 3 plus 2 is what 54 so, 30 plus 42 plus 54 just together I am going to add this. 4 plus 2 is 6. 5 plus 4 is what? 9. 9 plus 3 is what? 12. 
So the answer is what 126 the unit should be in the centimeter square because I am going to calculate this in a area. Once if I am going to calculate the area the unit should be what centimeter square. Finally, I am going to write the answer for this area of a area of the given figure is equal to 126 centimeter square. Can you clear this children? Can you clear this? Shall I move on to the next one? Listen, see the C sum. Here, how can I uh, frame the figures here? Rectangle, listen. See, if I join the line like this, I can get the figure 1, which is what? Rectangle. If I join like this means I can get the second figure and this one is what? Finally, a third figure. Can you clear this? Now, I am going to write the measurement for 1, 2 as well as 3. What I am going to do? I am going to write the length and breadth for the figure 1, figure 2 and figure 3. See what is the length given for the first one? See the rectangle. The length is what? 9 centimeter. And the breadth is what here they are given? 4 centimeter. See for the third figure, see the length is what? 12 centimeter and the breadth is what? 5 centimeter. Here, the what is it? The length they are given. I am going to find the breadth because the longest side is what? Length. So, the shorter side is a breadth in a rectangle. So, here they are given the length 6 centimeter. So, length is what? 6 centimeter and breadth. See, listen, breadth means what? B is equal to 6 centimeter and the breadth is equal to so total length is what 9 see from this part to this part is what 7 so what I have to do 9 minus 7 got it the total length minus I am I want I, I do I want only this part alone so what I have to do 9 minus 7 so, and then what is the measurement of this part? 9 minus 7 is what? 2 centimeter. So, I have find out the length and breadth for the figure 1, figure 2 as well as figure 3. Now, I am going to substitute the formula into, what formula I am going to substitute? Length into breadth. Why? Because area of a rectangle formula is what? Length into breadth. Now write it area of a area of a given figure is equal to area 1 plus area 2 plus Area 2 plus area 3. Listen. See here. What is the length given for the first figure? Length and the breadth. 9 into 4. Plus. What is the area of 2? That is what is the length there? 6 into 2 plus for the third one 12 into 
फाइव फोर नाइन जा थर्टी सिक्स सिक्स टू जार ट्वेल्व नाइन फोर जा थर्टी सिक्स सिक्स टू जार ट्वेल्व ट्वेल्व फाइव जार इज वॉट सिक्सटी सो वेन आई एम एडिंग ऑल दीज टूगेदर वॉट आई एम गेटिंग थर्टी सिक्स ट्वेल्व सिक्सटी लिजन आई एम गोइंग टू एड दिस सिक्स प्लस टू इज वॉट एट थ्री प्लस वन फोर फोर प्लस सिक्स इज वॉट टेन कैन यू क्लियर दिस सो नाउ लिजन वन हंड्रेड एंड एट सेंटीमीटर स्क्वायर वन हंड्रेड एंड एट सेंटीमीटर स्क्वायर नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू राइट द आंसर फॉर दिस वॉट इज द आंसर चिल्ड्रेन एरिया ऑफ अ एरिया ऑफ अ गिवन फिगर हंड्रेड एंड एट सेंटीमीटर स्क्वायर हंड्रेड एंड एट सेंटीमीटर स्क्वायर कैन यू क्लियर दिस कैन यू क्लियर दिस नेक्स्ट शेल आई मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट सम सी दिस दे वी आर गोइंग टू फॉर द फिफ्टीन सम we are go- we find the area of the given figure but in the 16th sum what we have to do means see you are going to find out the shaded region so these regions are the shaded region actually you are having a two rectangles here see this rectangle is what outer rectangle this out this rectangle is what outer rectangle and this rectangle is what inner rectangle so you are you are you, can, you are having a two rectangles here what i am going to find out the shaded part i am going to find out i am going to find the area of the shaded part listen find the area of the shaded part of the figure all corners are right angle right angle means what 90 degree and the dimensions are given in the centimeters so the so the unit should be what centimeter can you clear this so i am going to split the rectangle listen outer inner inner outer see the inner length is what see this is your length what is given 7 and what is the breadth what is the breadth given here 2 cm just see your outer what is the outer length is what 15 cm and what about the breadth breadth is what 6 cm can you understand this area of now i am going to find out the area of a shaded portion area of a shaded portion what i am going to write area of a area of a shaded portion area of a shaded portion is equal to area of a outer rectangle minus area of a inner rectangle so this is a formula for area of a shaded portion area of a outer rectangle minus area of a inner rectangle so listen what is the area of a outer rectangle outer is what length which is what l into b minus l into b so i am going to substitute the the length as well as the breadth value here what is the length here 15 and what is the breadth here 6 minus what is the length there 7 and what is your breadth 
listen 15 6 are just you have to multiply this what is 15 6 are 90 6 5s are 6 5s are 30 0 3 carry over 6 1s are 6 6 plus 3 is what 90 and 7 2s are what is that 14 so 90 minus 14 just you subtract this in the rough column 90 minus 14 0 minus 4 I am not able to subtract this so this become what 10 and this become what 8 10 minus 4 6 8 minus 1 is what 76 so 76 centimeter square because the unit is in the area so I have to write that unit in centimeter square now you are going to write the answer area of a shaded portion is equal to 76 centimeter square got it area of the shaded portion is 76 centimeter square see listen I am written here inner rectangle and the outer rectangle length as well as the breadth so what I have to do after I am getting this I am substituting in the area formula which is what length into breadth so length into breadth I substituted here and for my outer rectangle the area is 90 and for the inner rectangle my area is what 14 19 minus 14 is what 76 centimeter square so area of the shaded portion is what 76 centimeter square next see listen children see the b sum see they are given the outer rectangle as well as the inner rectangle and they are given the measurement for the outer rectangle but they did not give the measurement for the inner rectangle that we are going to find out can you clear this can you clear this or not see this previous sum they itself clearly given that outer and inner length breadth but for the for this sum for inner rectangle I am going to find out the length as well as the breadth and then I am going to substitute that in the area formula see listen outer first I have write the outer as well as inner okay outer as well as inner see what is the outer length longest side longest side only what length and what about the breadth 16 centimeter now I am going to find out the length and breadth for the inner rectangle see listen the all overall length is what 20 see you have to minus this 4 and this 4 got it minus one side what they are given 4 another side what they are given 4 so minus 4 minus 4 then only I can find out the accurate, accurate line segment for this see from this part to this part so 20 minus 4 minus 4 which is what 20 minus 8 20 minus 8 is what ma? 12 centimeter. Got it? Now I am going to find out the breadth. The overall breadth is what? 16. See, I am going to minus this 5 as well as minus 3. Got it? Then only I can know this one. This measurement I can know. So overall 16 minus 5 minus 3. 3 got it so this two values I am going to subtract if I subtract this two value I can now find out the breadth for the inner rectangle so what is that 16 minus 5 minus 3 is what minus 8 so 16 minus 8 is what 8 centimeter so I can find out the length and the breadth for both the inner and the outer rectangle now I am going to find the 
area of a shaded portion. See what is the area of a shaded portion? Area of a shaded portion is equal to area of outer rectangle minus area of a inner rectangle. Can you clear this? Area of the shaded portion is what? Area of a outer rectangle minus area of a inner rectangle. See what is it? Rectangle means I am going to substitute the length into breadth formula. So what is the outer length and the breadth? Outer is what? 20 into 16. And what is the inner? I find out here 12 into 8. See listen. 20 into 16 is what? 320. When I multiply this. 16 twos are 32 and one more zero is there. So for the 320. And here 12 eights are what is the answer? 96. Got it? So 320 minus 96. Listen. Subtract this 10. And what is this? 1 and this is what? 2. 10 minus 6, 4. 11 minus 9 is what? 2. So, the answer is what? 2. Two twenty four centimeter square. Two twenty four centimeter square. Can you clear this? Now I am going to write the answer. What is the answer? I am going to write. So, area of a shaded portion is equal to 224 unit in the square. So, 224 centimeter square. Can you clear this children? See like this you have to find the area of the shaded portion. What you have to do? Outer rectangle minus inner rectangle. So, outer rectangle you are going to find the length and the breadth and for the inner rectangle you are going to find the length and breadth. Both you multiply and then subtract you can get the shaded part. Thank you children. We will see in the next class.